This episode of Prolific Pat could be looking at my current and past projects. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to Prolific Pat. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my past and current projects. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Check it out. So after that little fail right there, this is my Ammonite Standing Pilot 120th scale. This guy right here was my first actual human plastic model that I've ever painted. Hand painted by the way too. Um, I think it came out pretty well. There's a little lighter areas right there that were actually scratches from that little fall I had earlier. But I actually like it. It almost gives it kind of like an anime look to it. So hey, happy mistake. It's a fall process, right? So this right here, the first color I use is a khaki green from Tamiya XF49. Then I added a little bit of um, acrylic thinner. It's a little bottle cap I had here. to kind of create a little bit of a wash. It's a tiny bit of black just to kind of give it darker shades um, under the folding of the material. Make it more realistic. There you see a little bit of scratches. You know, up close they're more noticeable. But from a distance they actually look pretty bad. They look pretty nice. Um, right here, just a little bit more of the shadowing, and just the dark green khaki. It's a really cool color. Next, I use this Desert Yellow XF59 Tami Acrylic to make the, I would call it armor or the padding. Kind of give it a almost 1970s leather look. I really like the contrast. This gray was for the helmet and the goggles. And I use this regular black X1 Tamiya just for the inside of the jacket and what looks to be the inside of the helmet. Um, for the face, I use the Flat Flesh XF15 Tami Acrylic and this pink X17 Tami Acrylic as well. I guess I don't have to say acrylic every single time. Mixed them together and created this little kind of a darker flesh. That was the undertone. Uh, kind of gave me that look, if you can see closely, under the eyes and under the nostrils can't see it as well from here but give a more realistic look um, for painting this character I use a 1 8th of an inch brush Princeton select petite angular shaded I picked up this brush at a library in little Tokyo in LA specifically said it was for acrylic paints the bristles are pretty hard which is really nice and you can cut in right through these areas in most of the other areas too it's really cool right here we got another one that's a uh, about a tenth of an inch it's a really really sharp tiny little brush probably count the bristles on that one this one was for the fine detail just kind of going after touching up separation of colors great paintbrush got it at Lobby Hobby and here in San Diego they have a 40% off coupon you can use with your phone and got it for four bucks it's really nice deal. Use it for the facial. Uh, this one right here is my MK2 prototype. This was my first machine Krieger kit. I did do a polar bear and gotcha series, but this is my actual official one. I did a lot of new things on this kit that I've never done before. A lot of customizing, hand painted, and really, honestly, this is what kind of got me into my kit kits. You can also see me in there through the little window. As you can see, I added um, some weathering, nice little scratches, a little more weathering on the arm, the little laser weapon, little custom panels, some custom initials, um, the welding seams. That's the first thing. I've never done that before. So this was the first attempt, and I think it was pretty successful. Um, if you like it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll make more videos about how I did that. Or if anything, I think I'm going to do it on my... You know what? I am going to do it. I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to do it on my Gustav. I really like that technique and I think it just shows a more metallic look. Die cast, just looking really cool. Iron cast, sorry. Makes it look more metallic. So this is one of the custom things I did, a little laser hole up on the top. Kind of refurbished armor. A little battery cell, you could call it. It goes into the other area. A little oxygen providing for the pilot, since this is supposed to be a refurbished suit. At least that's my story. A little extension for the laser weapon. Kind of like a backup 
as opposed from the regular hose. So that's the normal one. This is my custom right here. So that was pretty cool. Just I just like more wire sticking out from it. And these are the welding seams. Um, it's just really just kind of a melted piece of runner. Stretched it out and put it on there with some Tamiya glue. Some thin cement. Melted it a little bit and using a hobby knife just kind of stabbed it a lot of times. And after that, once you add the paint and some nice wash, it looks really cool. It's not that hard. There's some rust here with some pigments that I use. I'll show you later which ones. Little tiny water slide down there. So first off, I'd used for most of the rust was this Tamiya weathering kit. Didn't like it as much. I really love these Vallejo pigments. I believe they're cheaper, at least where I got them from. They're about $3 with this nice little jar. They're not as bad and as toxic as the Tamiya weathering, which is really good because I have a son. I don't want him, you know, running around with these pigments flying around. But yeah, wash also really cool, really nice. Just mixed it along with the pigments and looks incredible. I use this one too for the back area, just to give it a little more dirty look. So here you can see a little bit of the pigment kind of brushed in there where I thought would, most dust would accumulate when you're out in the field. Some little hand grenades sort of things that I added myself. That's another little custom feature. At the bottom, a little water slide, just a little bit of more weathering. And I honestly just really had fun with this kit. I love the weathering aspect of it. It's just really nice. Yeah, it's one of my mistakes. First kit. But now I learned how to seal those, those little seam lines really well. But hey, everybody's got to start somewhere, right? So I'll give you guys a chance to kind of look over this kit a little more. 